Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, this intro might be a little long, but I'm going to try my best to crunch it down. I'm going to be talking about things that I am loving from Louis Vuitton right now. I know that technically I said I was going to be on a Louis Vuitton break, which I am still on that break because I haven't purchased anything since my bought Chaposu Play MM, if I am not mistaken. And by the time I purchase something else, it's going to be another month or two so I am trying my best to hold out but there are some items that I really like at Louis Vuitton right now and that's what this video is going to be about. I feel like when I'm talking to my friends and family members about purses they don't understand the love I have for bags. I feel like a lot of people watching this video y'all understand and so I'm able to talk about price, I'm able to crack jokes, I'm able to talk about materials, I'm able to talk about collections. If I were to tell my mom a how much one of my bags cost or if I were to ask her if she wanted a Louis Vuitton never full for Christmas she would think that I'm speaking another language to her. And so with that being said um, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down um, <laughs> leave a comment down below in the comment section so we can have a little fun down there so the first two items I'm gonna be talking about are the cousin there is a cousin PM, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, and a pochette, coussin, pochette, pochette, coussin, I don't know the name, I don't know the pronunciation, I will put the picture so you guys can see, and I am not a big fan of this accordion on a strap, but I really like these two colors, these two designs, um, I don't remember if it's the smaller one or the bigger one that has the, like, um, I don't even know, raspberry interior, this is so beautiful beautiful to me and this is what I like from Louis Vuitton especially with leather especially with fun colors I like this type of combination I really think sometimes Louis Vuitton overthinks what the consumer or the customer wants um, and in reality we just want very simple but with like a little pizzazz like give us options give us colors don't make them too crazy out of this world um, but give us something original give us something cute give us something versatile and with like the louis vuitton signature and i think this is like the perfect example of that i don't know if i would spend that much money on a bag to be completely honest well especially on the cousin i feel like i could find other bags for the same price that are maybe better quality or like a higher caliber of bag i could be wrong but I also feel like it's a very trendy bag and I don't know if I want to spend that much money on a bag that I feel like won't last that long. Y'all can chew off my head and say it's going to last forever, but that's just how I feel about it. The next item is going to be the Louis Vuitton Jacquard Denim hat baseball cap i don't know and i know someone's gonna say that it's very tacky and that wealth whispers and money talks well i am none of those i am teetering between broke and loud so <laughs> i will wear my monogram jacquard um baseball cap from louis vuitton and be proud the one thing i do have to say though with my style and how i am i would not wear it with monogram canvas from louis vuitton i would not i guess um mix and match and i probably Probably wouldn't wear it with any type of logos and very plain clothing. I wear plain clothing to begin with, like a plain gray shirt. That's how you'll find me. And so it's not like I would be the type of person that wore Louis Vuitton shirt, Louis Vuitton pants, Louis Vuitton hat, Louis Vuitton bag. That's just not me. Um, but on the flip side of that coin, there is something from, I guess it would be considered ready to wear. I am not, I am not a person that knows anything about how stuff is um, labeled or if ready to wear is just normal clothing. Is that what they call, like luxury brands call their clothing items? But there is a piece of um, clothing article from Louis Vuitton that I think is beautiful and would match me. It is the, let me see, wait, 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 the LV Signature Chunky Stripe Pullover. They have the matching shorts, so it'll be a set, but I, it's, it's like, I'm a big bottom woman. I wanted to say the BBB, y'all, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I cannot be wearing these luxury designer brands. Anything that is European does not fit on my butt. And so the shorts are no on my list, but a top, I can get away with. And especially since 
they do large, they do extra large, I can um, work with that. And so I just think this is a very, it's not understated because it screams and yells Louis Vuitton. But the thing is the color scheme isn't too vibrant. It's not too out of this world how some of the Louis Vuitton um, prints are. And it's just something that I feel would I would get a lot of use out of or it would go well with a lot of things. The next thing that I am loving right now are the LV Icon earrings in all of the colors that they're putting out. I love these in gold. Um, my man wanted to buy them for me and I just cannot justify costume jewelry so they are a love on my list but I can never justify spending hundreds of dollars on something that is not real um, gold is not real silver is not real anything like that I in my head there's like a block you know I'll spend thousands on a bag thousands on a canvas bag that is not leather no problem but when it comes to spending 500 plus bucks um, for earrings that are not real gold I just can't do it but I do love them so that's why they're on the list because I find them to be very very cute um, Every time I see people wearing them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love these so much. Mm. So the next item is something that I have tried on and seen in person. And this was actually going to be something that might have replaced or I would have purchased instead of the Botcha Post to Play MM. I don't know if I'm happy that I didn't purchase it because it still sits in the back of my mind. But I do know that I get more use out of the Botcha Post to Play MM than this bag. Um, but it is the Lexington Pouch. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I think it's Vernie. Is it Vernie Leather, Leather with it? It's gold with a silver chain and the chain is not like a normal Louis Vuitton chain. It reminds me sort of like barbed wire or like a vine maybe. Um, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> this bag you guys. I don't remember what the price tag was on this but I did try this on while I was at Louis Vuitton when I was trying on the Botcha Post to Play MM and I was so close to getting it instead. So the next item is for the home and I never thought that I would have a home item on a list of things I love from Louis Vuitton but here we are and I think the main thing this is telling me is that I need a home I need a house I need an apartment I need a condo I, I, uh, an RV will do at this point anything of my own so I can buy this and use it and it is the Vivian moon and cup plate y'all I just think they're so cute. It's one of those things that is very special. You're not gonna use it all the time, but let's say you invite someone over, um, you wanna have a cute little cappuccino. I don't know if that's what you use these things for. What I would use it for is like a cute little cappuccino or something or a cute little tea. Um, serve it to someone that would appreciate this. Not to say that I know that many people that would appreciate this, but sometimes you just wanna treat yourself and your friends to a cute little cup of tea and a cute little Louis Vuitton cup and play a set. And so I just really like this. I think the price actually is okay. I know some people are gonna say, you can go to Walmart and you can go to Target and you can get paper plates, you can get plastic plates for a dollar fifty, seventy-seven cents, twenty-two cents. <laughs> And so what in the hundreds of dollars for two plates and two cups have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. So the next item on this list is going to be the on the go hate the strap PM bag y'all. Ugh, ugh, I, my prayers have been answered. I am so happy about this. I, I'm going to buy this. Let me not say that out loud because if I don't buy it then I'm gonna have to eat my words. I'm gonna buy this bag. I love this bag. I've loved the on the go and I think I've talked about this many times before. I love the on the go. I loved it in the monogram canvas. I hated it with the black straps. They got rid of those black straps y'all. They put the horrible um, guitar strap on it but I can live without that because I wouldn't use the on the go like with that strap I could use my monogram canvas strap with it and also the cute little um, coin pouch purse on it would be useful in some capacity um, and that little canvas strap can stay somewhere else I could sell it I don't know I didn't like the GM didn't like the MM I love the PM size it is the perfect size for me it is the perfect size bag it is a cute bag I I can't wait till I get back home so I can buy this bag because no one has it here. It's available online, I think, um, like to get delivered to my home. In Germany, it's available. Here in the United States, it's not available. I can't find it. And so, 
I'm so excited about the on-the-go PM, y'all. I told myself that if I can wait until I get back home and it is still available in the store or online, I will buy it. And I'm trying to like teach myself self-control, discipline regarding these things because I don't want to make impulsive purchases. So I'm hoping, you know, I've watched a few um, reviews about this, but this bag, there aren't that many online on YouTube. And so I haven't gotten that much information about it. I feel like a lot of people, they got the GM and then they got the MM. And so maybe not that many people are going to go after the PM, but I could be totally wrong. Um, but I do hope that I see more reviews about this bag on YouTube in like the next week or so. The next item is going to be the LV Family Beloved bag charm I think it's what it's called. I don't know if this was for Valentine's Day and I actually didn't read the description of the bag charm on the website. I just saw it and I really like the colors. It has like these pink hearts um, and I just think it looks really cute. I think a bag charm, I do think that they are overpriced but let's say that you have a Louis Vuitton bag and I think I learned this with the monogram canvas strap and you wanna maybe freshen it up a little bit or give it a new personality. There are many ways to do that with Louis Vuitton accessories and non Louis Vuitton accessories as well. But Louis Vuitton does offer some things, <laughs> bag charms, scarves, straps, everything like that to customize your bag and give it a little bit like of a newer personality or a different personality than it has had in the past. I used to be against bag charms. I'm not necessarily against like pro bag charms now, but this one did catch my eye and I'd be lying if I got on here and said that it wasn't cute because it's very cute and I think I like it a lot. So the next bag, and I think this is the final bag that I'm gonna be talking about, but not the final item I'm gonna be talking about, is the Lock Me Tender bag. I, I'm pretty sure it's called the Lock Me Tender. And they do have this funny color called, I think, Pondicherry, which I always think of <laughs> Rihanna upon the replay or whatever the heck the song is called and then like Louis Vuitton's gonna have a song that oh pun the cherry with that freaking lock me tender bag um but I love that color I just find it to be really uh, ridiculous I would never wear it as a bag you guys but they have this grayish color with I think like blue accents gold hardware um white or beige as well and I just love this um combination. It's very um, fresh, very youthful, um, very innocent, very neutral. The thing though that gets me with this bag is that A, it sometimes looks very fake in my opinion when I see people wearing it. I'm always questioning if it's a real Louis Vuitton bag or not. People are questioning that with me and my bot ship host to play MM so it's all good. Um, but sometimes I like see it and I'm like hmm. You know when something just looks fake? It may not be fake, it just looks or it has fake tendencies. This bag has that for me. Also, it sort of reminds me of certain like Kate Spade or Michael Kors bags, but I feel like they are targeting a different demographic and it's not me. It's a younger dem demographic, it's a younger girl demographic, um, it's a college student demographic, it's someone cute like that clean girl aesthetic um, with money <laughs> because it's expensive. I'm not 18. <laughs> I'm not like in my young 20s. I'm none of these things and so I don't want to wear a bag and people think that I try too hard. Not that I care what people think um, too much, but I don't want the bag to look so like weird on me, if that makes sense. I know that people are gonna say, wear what you want, um, do what you want, and it's like your money, your bag, and it's your style, and you get to choose and you get to decide. That's very true. Um, but I also want something to like match me. And I also want it to have longevity. And I don't know if this bag will have longevity with me. I don't care about y'all, but with me. So the next item which I am saving the best for last is probably something that I'm going to add to my collection or I've already added it to my collection. <laughs> it's probably on its way to me already, you guys. Um, and it is the Le Sable Rouge, I think is the pronunciation. As always, y'all, I butcher everything. Um, this fragrance, you guys, is so wonderful and beautiful. I know I've been talking about Millie Few and that I'm gonna buy it, but this stopped me dead in my tracks when I smelt it. If you have ever been to Dubai, which this is me being very pretentious, you guys, and you've ever walked through the Dubai Mall, the Mall of the Emirates, whatever it is, and you've um, walked behind a group of women, <laughs> 
you have probably smelled this before this just like smells like the mall the dubai mall i it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's familiar, it's common. So for some people, it might not be worth the price tag because you're like, everyone has this, I smell this everywhere. But this is so beautiful, you guys. I love this so freaking much. This hit me so much harder than Millie Few did. And I'm so happy that I put off purchasing Millie Few because granted, this one is a little bit more expensive. Um, it's not the most expensive scent that you can get at Louis Vuitton, but it's also not the most affordable scent that you can get from Louis Vuitton. It's somewhere in the middle and I think it's because it's like one of their sort of special collections that they put out. They put out a group of desert fragrances and this was one of them. And so when I was looking into it, um, why I didn't think it was masculine or for men it's, anyways was because it's Le Sable Rouge, which means I think pink sands. And I don't associate pink sands with men. I don't associate roses with men. And so I don't know who this is marketed for. It's dark enough and musky enough, in my opinion, to be a men's fragrance. Um, a man that is very confident because maybe some men will see this. They'll see the word rose. Um, they'll see that it has notes of rose in it and they'll like shy away from purchasing it. But I feel like a man that is very confident in, him, in himself and he likes to smell good, it's dark enough to in my opinion, be like a masculine fragrance, but because of the rose and a few of, the, I think it's like ambergris, because of those notes, maybe those elements, it still has a feminine touch. This scent is you wearing a tight, sexy, mini black dress with cute little high heels on in the back corner of a bar, um, drinking your favorite drink, mine is an aviation, having sweet conversations, sweet nothings with a man, woman, whoever you're dating, I don't care, doesn't matter to me, and y'all are having sweet little nothings, looking at each other in the eye, you know, making eye contact and just like, take me now that's probably whoo, <laughs> whoo, that's what the scent is so if you want that to happen to you just just get this or just get an equivalent i don't care but i'm gonna get this and i'm gonna let y'all know how it how it works out for me and um, so yeah <sighs> oh i love it so much but any you guys that was it those are all of the things that i love from louis vuitton right now you guys can let me know if you agree with any of the things or love the same things that i love or if you hate some of the things that i love other than that thank you so much for watching you guys i love y'all have a wonderful day and bye